Hey everybody, it's Provost from the future. Mm-hmm, you already know where this is going. It's been a pretty rough week. Fortunately, this time around, I only lost about five minutes of this video. I know exactly why this time as well. I got about five minutes into the episode, then the game crashed, and apparently took some of the recording files with it, though I thought that it had been fine. I was wrong. So you're gonna miss a small little gap there, but then we're gonna get right back into it. Sorry, again, nothing I can do. It's been a bad week for me too, all right? And we're back. I have no idea how much we lost. Um, something just recalculated. I don't know what happened with... What the frick happened to Croatia? Oh, Poland ended their war. Ooh, Hungary just lost a chunk of land, and they lost Croatia. And they have no allies. You know, Venice, which is, now would be an okay time to go and kill them. Bosnia's free as well. Good lord, they wrecked Hungary there. And I immediately lose some, but okay. Say goodbye to, I assume, my heir. Um... Maybe it was my leader. It didn't say that I got a new leader. Now we still have a 534, which is fine by me. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, first off, let's let's do a quick. Um, do I want to seize land? I can seize land safely right now. Let's do it before I upset anybody. Get a little bit more of that crown land going. Thank you kindly. Okay, now nobility or bourgeoisie. Uh, protege for papal influence. Wait, I didn't lose my stability now. Oh, I guess we set just far enough back to get rid of the omen. Didn't do that on purpose, it just suddenly died. Swear I didn't mean to. But I know why, it's it's purely because all of a sudden, I just ran out of um, memory space on my hard drive and my computer started to freak the heck out. Hungary and Naples are friends now. Okay, so Hungary's getting allies again. Idea cost reduction, I'll take that. So with the death of somebody, let's put, oh wow. Von Luxemburg, another six. Six fire value. That's pretty darn good. Um, national unrest is not good. I'm going to ignore that for now. I often just take it and say screw it, but I don't, I don't feel like that's a good idea this time around. So did we actually start building, like, temples and stuff? We did not. So we need to do that again. And we could build courthouses to reduce maintenance. That's actually worth a fair bit in Huda Vendigar, so let's do it. Also, I think the courthouses do reduce my um, governing capacity. So that's helpful. It actually would free me up, potentially, to get some more lands. Now, right now, we're fine. But still, eventually. Let's see. I don't want to make any more states right now. Only one out of, like, four or five. It's going to cost me a lot in maintenance for not a lot of benefit. All right, we have another trade ship. Let's go ahead and toss you onto the pile. Unrest is getting a little close. That's fine. Let's go ahead and stop the drilling for a moment. We're going to go to Mentis down over here. And Austria, once again, has been able to ally Hungary. Protestants' Reformation has begun in northern Italy. Hear ye, hear ye. Heretics have returned. Goody. That's more people that I will be able to fight using Deus Volt. Someday. And maybe, just maybe, the Pope will actually be nice and give me some freaking cardinals. I feel like I deserve one. Pliss. Pliss give. Oh, well. The knight's noble... In... In... What? The knight's noble what? Are my noble factions dangerous? No. I don't know why they're upset. I really don't. Benign neglect. Trade power in Athens. Tax power or manpower. Well, in Athens... Um... Taxes are pretty darn good. We get a bit of manpower out of it, but I think taxes are better. And we have a new leader. Okay, my leader has died. 333 in charge. New heir is required. Who should we go for today? Well, um, maybe clergy? Maybe nobles? Probably the clergy because we have more influence with them. So a talented theologian wouldn't be bad. A local preacher? We would upset the nobility a fair chunk, though. Protégé, we can afford to do this. This wouldn't cost me as much. 503. The reason I did that is I wanted to keep the nobility above the 30% so we don't have a disloyal mechanic, because that could hurt. 36% crown land is certainly quite nice. At least this means I have a bit more freedom to do things. And we can go ahead and summon a diet for another mission. Uh, Rhodes, base tax. Could do that. Gain prestige. Hungry like me? Doesn't get me much, though. Build a treasury. Have 700 ducats. That would take a long, long, long time. How does Hungary feel about me? They don't hate me. 
this would be okay if we just want to get the nobility back on track, but I think I'm going to go for the base tax. And really no reason not to just go ahead and do it right now. There we go. Get the loyalty, gain the prestige. Why not? Sick. And actually, what do we get for them being loyal? We get a lot of taxes. Also influence and so on. There's a lot of things we get for having loyal clergy. I like that. Just results in a lot of money. Thank you, Venice, for giving me 35 ducats, because you're naive. You fool! You sorry fool! Why would you do such a thing? Coastal defense. Could get some manpower and stuff. I mean, I could get some of this. I guess we'll go ahead and just continue building more temples. They're sort of worth it, right? So these guys are really close to firing. The Ottomans like me more. So do a whole bunch of other people. I don't even know why. We have a Turkish somebody. Yeah, actually, we do have a Turkish somebody. Wait a minute. I could have dropped the Turkish cult. We should do this. Yes. Spend the power, adopt the Turkish culture, get me more taxes and manpower, dang it. That's worth it. We're gonna get a lot more Turkish lands in the future. Adopting them now makes perfect sense as a promoted culture. That's great. So now we're making eight ducats, and we got a cap of 28,000 manpower, making 263 per month. That's solid. How much longer until I become a grand power? A while. England's having a hard game. What's going on with you? You still haven't been able to take out Scotland. Because they've united all of Ireland against you. I feel like that shouldn't be a problem, to be honest, but okay. The Saruhani are going away. Okay. So that leaves only some Sunni zealots. Ottomans have allied Ramazan. Hilarious! Still pretty far ahead of time on tech. Let's go for the supply limit. That gets me some extra galley combat ability of 20%, which is huge. Also, another 15% chance of capturing some ships, because of reasons. I find that funny. Personally, I've got what? An 80% chance or so of capturing ships now? <laughs> that's a little that's a little stupid. Uh, we have so many favors with Venice, we should probably increase their trust of me in some way. We could also ask them to prepare for war. But I think I'll just increase their trust a little bit. I don't know. I want to make sure that they join in things in the future. Then it said, I probably will betray them, so their trust in me would be somewhat misplaced, but I mean, they don't need to know that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Sunni Zealots, as soon as we are done converting you, you go away. And we won't have to fight anybody, and I can sit back and drill to my heart's content. I don't know why we have these nobles. I actually don't. Noble Rebels, they want to increase privileges. Really? You want me to give you more privileges, huh? I mean, I suppose we could. Um, nobility in the officer corps would lose me some army tradition, but we'd have cheap generals. Or rather, we could get generals cheaper. Not that that matters. Army tradition decay is pretty good. Losing a lot of taxes for manpower debatably is worth it. Monopolies on gems? Not a chance. I'm keeping that. Thank you. Monopoly on livestock we could do. I don't know. I don't feel like we need to give you any more privileges. I think it's fine. And we actually only are able to revoke privileges if we have their loyalty higher than their um, the number of influence they've got. So, the more you increase their influence, the more it is impossible to revoke privileges once the Age of Absolutism does fire. Not that it's relevant right now, but you get the point. Saruhan is in a state that does get some trade power, so we could do this. Alternatively, goods produce cotton. Um, we wouldn't get a ton out of this. I think we'll just take the trade power and upset Croatia. That's probably all right. Is there anywhere I want to reduce some more autonomy? Um, We're really close in a couple of places, but I would say not yet. Not too big of a deal. And we're about to finish up with the Mentis, which means no unrest, which means you're gone. Which means we can sit back and just drill my army for a while and we're fine. We're stable! Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We are stable. Why am I spying on... Oh, right, Ramazan. Right, I forgot I was doing this. Yes, yes, yes. I still want to fabricate a claim on you. Thank you, bye. Good enough. And what should we do? Continue improving with Outrage? Let's just go ahead and do some ally touch-up. Make Venice happy. Unity of Faith. Gain power. Nice. We're six years ahead of time, too. Production efficiency. 2% is not huge, but I'll take it. 
Triumphs of the Clergy. Um, Civility Cost Modifier doesn't bother me, given that I have so much Papal Influence, so that's fine. Them gaining influence scares me, but I'm not going to lose the stability right now, so I think we can hold on to this for a bit. We're not in danger right now, so I think we're fine. Uh, I don't want to sell any titles. 10% crown lands, all states gain loyalty, gain a load of money. Drilling just got me some shock. We have a really good general right now. What we should actually be doing is training up a bunch more cannons. I know that there are, like, a lot of other things we could be buying with this money, but I mean, I think just getting our army up and getting a bunch of cannons is great. Because cannons, at this point, give me a really strong artillery backline when all the other AIs probably have not done that, is going to be massive. Peasants' War in Hungary. You sure it's not the Martian? It's fine. Stettin's doing pretty good. Surprisingly. How's Burgundy doing over here? Allied to a lot of big players. They're pretty strong. I really need to do a Burgundy game at some point. Try to form Lothringia. Learn how it works. Ottomans don't hate uh, the Austrians anymore, but they do hate Kandar. So, Austria, do you get stronger? Is that what's going on? You do have an heir again, so another Von Habsburg, and you are securing the Empire ship. Okay, so you're going to be the Emperor for a bit longer. I want to call in Austria against the Mamluks while they are still Emperor. Because that will be a lot of extra troops. Italian Engineer. Um... Going into debt over this doesn't feel very attractive much as I would like the military power. I'm not going to go into debt. Why take the inflation? It is below f uh, 5%, finally. So we've avoided some pretty nasty events. Could spend the admin power to pull it down a bit more, and I will, actually. Let's do that. That gets me a lot of extra cash. We were sitting on more admin power than I need. I don't need any states. I don't need stability, and I don't need tech right now. So I feel like that's worth it. Thank you for the manpower. How are the Mamluks looking, out of curiosity? They are one of the strongest nations in the game. They have a larger army than France. 81,000 manpower. Yep. Yeah. Yep, they're a thing. They are a thing. Yep, 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 yep. But, fortunately, I'm allied to Austria, Castile, and Venice. That adds in a combined about 90,000 soldiers there, plus my own. So depending on who your allies are, and depending on who we attack... It's not necessarily that infeasible to suggest that I could beat them. Especially once I get quantity ideas, and especially now that I'm getting cannons. I mean, we're sitting on 22,000 now. So we'd have about 110 versus probably against 80-ish. We could win that. Especially if I actually do fight Karaman and Kandar, because I can spend my time just burning down their allies. So we can separate piece them out and then focus all of our effort against the Mamluks. I do still think that getting a fort makes sense somewhere. Could be a Mentis. You know, anywhere anywhere where we ha uh, can force them to get stuck somewhere. Find a bottleneck that's defensive. Hold on to Constantinople. He can't go very far. Now, to be fair, it would be a little annoying that he could come back over here and siege all this. So maybe building one in Hudavendigar is a good one uh, as well. But, eh, I think Mentis might be better. So we should consider building up a fort. Hey, when can I go uh, raid again, by the way? 1502. Two years. Two years until our next big influx of cash. I am shocked that Genoa still holds all this land, by the way. Feels kind of ridiculous. Shouldn't be allowed to have that anymore. Oh, I want to kill you so bad, but so long as Austria will defend you, it's just not a good idea. Austria's not fighting anyone. Venice isn't fighting anyone. Castile isn't fighting anyone. Oh, let's not forget, by the way, that Castile also has Aragon as a uh, personal union, so that helps. Big honkin' navy? Yep. The big honkin' navy. How big is uh, the Mamluks navy? 33 ships. I have a bigger navy than you. And I have extremely good galley combat ability, and I have like an 80% chance of capturing your ships like a proper pirate. So, I mean... I feel like our chances against the naval game are fairly strong, especially if you pull in Castile, Aragon, and Venice all together. Absolutely obliterated. Question, if I wanted to go and fight, let's say, Tunis and take some land so we can continue with our mission, can we do that? Well, Venice would not be willing to join because it's a distant war. It's not that distant. What are you talking about? Venice likes the Mamluks? Well, that's a problem. 
I will likely have to spend favors to ask uh, Venice to prepare for war to overcome that. But that is what I would consider unfortunate and highly irritating. That said, if I attacked Karaman, ah, there's a way to pull in Venice and do a holy war. 75% aggressive expansion and stuff. It's pretty good, you'd say. It's pretty darn good. Uh, yeah, some more production in my core of Smyrna makes a lot of sense. Doing pretty solid over here. How are we doing in terms of trade? 46% control, 7.2 ducats. It is improving a little bit. But you can see so much money is going down to Alexandria. We have to smash this. Kind of wish that I could rival the Mamluks. But they're too strong for me. The game's like, haha, no. You are not able to do that. What is this button, by the way? States. Hello. I like the addition of this. State edicts. Man, this is so nice. Trade company investments if I wanted to. And the quality of, uh, of life improvements over here are just so helpful. Absolutely excellent. Can't turn you guys into states because it's, uh, sorry, a territory. We could do one here. Wouldn't really benefit me, though. So, how you doing? How you guys doing over there? You enjoying the series? I'm enjoying the series. I think it's pretty good. I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're pretty stronka. Stronka. Hey, an idea. Let's go for the garrison size. Why not? National unrest reduction would be very good. Land attrition plus land enforcement modifier. We're very close now. Uh, some more power in Alexandria. You know I'm going to. Because I have a, a merchant down here. So steering a little bit of extra cash with some more local trade power is helpful. We just stole another 0.45 ducats to go up here where I can capture most of that. That's pretty decent. How are we doing with our drill? We are now able to slack in if I need some manpower, so that's a good emergency button. Um, could build another light ship, and we will. Actually, cancel that. I think it's time we get another galley. Take advantage of that galley combat ability, you know? Let's make sure we don't have any issues going forward. How much can I improve with Austria? Not a lot. I need to improve more with the Pope. They're very upset that I accepted a Jew in my government. Ah, yes. <sighs> Pre-enlightenment, pre-proper uh, pre rights, Europe. Never change. No, do change. Someday. Um, yeah, we can pull off of Austria. Let's just go ahead and top off with the Pope. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of extra papal influence. Though as we get close to this 200 mark, we're going to have to get rid of some of this. Could just go for the mercantilism. I mean, it's not bad. Prestige, taxes, tax modifier. We're making 11 ducats. We're making more money off of taxes than anything else. Oh, hello. Yes, give me more cash. Why not? If the Mamluks get into a really big war, I think it may be time to attack them. Steel has favors. We now officially have favors with everybody. The problem is, it's far enough away that some people still might not be willing to join me. That's that's my big issue. Because just a minute ago, we were seeing that Austria, for example, was unwilling. How can I pull this one off, actually, now that I think about it? Having Austria and Castile is great and all, but they're so far away, they're not willing to do much. Well, let's still see if we can find an opportunity. I mean, maybe we find ourselves... Once we get our quantity ideas, maybe we find an opportunity to pull just me, Venice, against them, and maybe we win. Unfortunately, like, none of them are rivaled to the Mamluks anymore. That's that's part of the problem. People are all rivaled to the Ottomans. That's why I got the alliances. But once the Ottomans took a turn, no one rivaled the Mamluks back. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's a little bit harder to navigate people the way I want them to. Still would like to possibly fight Venice. I'm oh, sorry. Um, well, Venice eventually, but also uh, possibly Tunis. But no one's willing to fight them, and the Mamluks are still the defender of the uh, faith. You know, that's actually another thought. We could attack, like, literally any... Um, Muslim and uh, Sunni, and that would call the Mamluks in as well. But there's no one for me to fight. What if we just declared war on them directly? 
We'd have to fight all the same people, but do I care? 53,000 troops. Of infantry, sorry. Um, okay, so you've got a lot. you got 76,000 versus my 22. But that tells me what all these guys have right there. This is such a nice quality of life improvement. It does all the ledger work for me. I love it. Love it. Constantinople, I think we are going to be going ahead and upgrading my natural harbor to the next level. As soon as we get up a little bit. Could afford some tech ahead of time. For once, it's the Diplo tech. Amazing. We will be able to study technology if I so desire. I don't know that I do desire, but it's a thing we can do. Um, I cannot downgrade. I don't want to downgrade. I want to upgrade. Development costs, trade power, etc. Worth, I think. Should get me up a little bit more. We need to get a vassal as well. Actually, I can get some more allies now that I think about it. We have more um, relations and stuff, right? At Koyun Lu would ally me. Really? You like me a lot. Yeah. Let's ally Kara Ko uh, at Koyun Lu. I think that's okay. I don't care about Luca and stuff. Florence. Good for anybody big. Ally the Pope, I suppose. Brandenburg, but nobody nobody close is what I'm seeing here. Nobody in range to do big damage. Yeah. Be even better to get an ally uh, with like Kara Coin Lu instead, but they hate me. And I have been raiding their coasts for a while, so I mean, fair enough. I'm not I'm not I'm not upset about that. If only I could take Cyprus as a vassal right now. Make my life a little bit easier. I want to fight Fizan quite badly. But a no-CB war would be ill-advised, I think. To be fair, it would only cost me two stability. We could buy that up pretty quick, but... The way things stand right now, still not worth it. Castile is a thousand ducats in debt? Boo! I don't know if we can get our allies to actually help me. I don't think that we can. I don't think I can get Austria and Castile to do anything unless I get a million more favors. That is what I call annoying. Distant wars, man. I mean, it was enough to ward off the Ottomans, but yeah. All right, well, what that tells me is we probably do need to get the Force of Modifier and actually field a large enough army to do something myself. We can't really afford to uh, rely too heavily upon my allies. Venice is the only one I think I can actually maneuver to do something. Unless the Mamluks were to, let's say, I don't know, ally the Ottomans or somebody, but like, yeah. Or Crimea, I don't know, anybody. You would think, hello, it's time to fight the Ottomans again. Oh, right, joy. Um, let's go do that. So you would think, what would you think? Oh, right, that the Ottomans being Sunni would get defended by the Mamluks, but the answer is no. So I think you only have 10,000 troops, which means I can just stomp you into the ground. I also have an opportunity to like, I don't know, humiliate you and stuff, which is funny. I might just leave this off, like, just say, fine, go ahead, take it. And we're just gonna, we're gonna go for, we're gonna try to get the near 100% peace deal. Now, Ramazan, of course, being allied is annoying. We'll have to deal with them. But beyond that, I think it's time to go for the 100% peace deal that we can use against the Mam uh, the Ottomans. I have Deus Volt for the first time, which means this is my chance to go for another really nice power spike. And we actually have enough uh, power to go for tech and start coring a lot of land, so this is a great chance for me. We call this a big opportunity. Alright, so the navy is mostly repaired. Crimea's upset, but I don't care. And if we declare war now, we'll be fine. I'm not going to give anything to Venice, I don't care about that. 
I don't want to co-belligerize Ramazan. That would obviously be a terrible idea. We could actually try to vassalize Ramazan. They'd be peeved about it, but we could do that. Start building a vassal in this area. Have some troops ready to go and fight against the Mamluks in the future. I don't know. I've got another diplomatic slot. We could also just, like, release a vassal. These are all options. But I think we just go ahead and declare the war. Another holy war. It's time for some proper knight old school deus vult. Making sure I wasn't forgetting anything important. Kill them! Comets! It's fine. We don't care. Stability's mine. Thank you. Bye! Stack wipe! And I get siege ability on my really, really good fire general. This is what we call hilarious. Let's go ahead and do some carpet sieging, I think. Grab all you guys. Hello, grab. There you go. Go here. Oops. Here, 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 and here, and here. And I just realized we're over our time because I forgot that we actually crashed and that messed up my recording schedule. So we're very over our video, but we're going to be fighting the Ottomans yet again. Get a load more land. Become a really big, powerful uh, superpower, I guess, and just looking for a chance. Looking for any opportunity to murder their Mamluks. And then we'll get that achievement. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. So, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and do it.